The Data Knife from Titanfall is not a new project. You may remember my earlier video where I finished my 3D printed version. Truth be told, I was never fully satisfied with the first one I made. The 3D printed parts looked great, but were very lightweight and even painted they lacked a degree of realism that I wanted. More importantly, the electronics didn't perform as well as I'd initially hoped. The disposable batteries I used were cheap and easy to replace thanks to the access hatch on the old model, but also ran out of juice far faster than I'd like to admit. I sat down and fully redesigned the model with some new components in mind and better reference images in hand. I was able to add knurled texturing to the grips of the knife and carved in a number of panel lines to make the handle more accurate. I also revised the blade design significantly to be more consistent with the version from Titanfall 2, rather than the original pronged version from Titanfall 1. This allowed me to separate parts out for cold casting in different metallic pigments. The blade could be done in aluminum, the circuitry in bronze, and the handle itself could be cast in graphite, which offered a nice dark metallic finish. The knife has been configured around a lithium polymer battery that lasts dramatically longer than the disposable cells I had been using. I built a charging circuit into the handle where it meets the blade, which accepts your standard micro USB phone charging plugs. The new battery can run the knife continuously for a number of hours, and is a lot more reliable. The piezo buzzer I used for the audio was also repositioned into an acoustic chamber carved out on the inside of the handle, which makes it a little bit louder than my earlier design. It's kind of like how putting a speaker into a can or a tube increases the effective volume. Over the last few weeks, I've been working on rebuilding and upgrading a Chinese laser cutter, which allows me to do my own custom engraving on things like the acrylic dial at the top of the handle. I also discovered it lets me carve fine text into resin parts, so I used it to engrave the circuits on either side of the blade with the call sign of Titanfall 2's protagonist, Jack Cooper. With all of these changes, I'm satisfied that this is one of the best representations of the data knife possible. I plan on making a few more of these since I've already gone through the trouble of making molds to cold cast these parts. I expect I'll be able to make finished pieces available in a very, very limited number for any superfans that want to celebrate their favorite game. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Your support means a lot to me, and I'll pay that back by not pandering for likes or follows beyond, well, that little mention. For any of you out there with 3D printers of your own, make sure you check out the download section on FuseCreations.com, where files for this project and many others are available. Now, go and make awesome things!